The government has a food stamp program to help low-income families get more food. You will get the stamps once your welfare department says you are eligible. You can spend the stamps just like money at any authorized grocery store. You can't buy anything but food with the stamps. No cigarettes, no alcoholic beverages, and no items you cannot eat. You are about to find out how families are spending their money wisely, how to use the money you have to buy the food and drugs your family really needs instead of wasting money on items that are poor bargains or that are not good for your health. Your dollar will buy this much food. Your dollar when used to buy food stamps will buy this much more. Our bodies are built from the foods that we eat. What we eat can also cause us to act and feel the way we do. We can't grow strong and feel good unless we eat the right foods. Good foods help build good health. They give you energy and pep. Careful shopping is necessary to get the most food value from your money. Take advantage of all the sales you can. Always make a list of what you need and shop from the list. If you shop once a week, plan ahead what you will need each day and buy accordingly. If there are special sales on one kind of food or meat, then you can substitute these on your list. Look at the labels on boxes or cans. Check the quality as well as the amount and compare prices. Often it's best to buy an economy size box if your family is large. But it would be wasteful for the small family since part could spoil before the whole package is used. Don't buy something just because of a fancy package or an attractive advertisement. When you are buying beef, you get more for your money by buying hamburger meat instead of steak. Six small servings of steak cost as much as 12 hamburgers, but there is as much food value in the hamburger as there is in steak. Lean meat gives you more protein. Eat some liver every week, and remember, pork liver has the same value as calves and beef liver, but costs much less. You save money when you bake your own breads and make your own cakes. You can usually save money by buying large bags of flour and meal instead of small ones. Buy only flour, meal, grits, and rice that has enriched printed on the bag. This means that these foods have had vitamins and minerals added to them to give them more food value. Since the enriching powder can usually be washed off, never wash grits or rice before cooking, and don't pour off the water after you cook the rice. Add a little salt and just enough water to keep the grits from getting lumpy. You should eat vegetables and fruit every day. These foods give you the vitamins and minerals that help you feel good and stay healthy. Eat some raw vegetables, too. Some families don't have to buy all their vegetables. They can grow enough collards and sweet potatoes to last them all winter, as well as all the tomatoes they can eat during the summer. When you cook vegetables, don't add too much fat back or grease, and add just enough water to keep them from sticking. Most fresh vegetables or fruit will cook in 10 to 20 minutes with the water at the simmering point. Cooking food too long will destroy it. For example, when you cook cabbage, rinse the head of cabbage, cut it in pieces, put it into a pot with one or two cups of water, just enough to cover the bottom. Add a small piece of fat back and one teaspoon of salt. Now your cabbage will be finished cooking in about eight minutes. When you are buying milk,
you will seldom need to take medicines such as laxatives and headache pills. Fresh fruits and vegetables act as natural laxatives and body regulators. They taste good and they are good for you too. Before you buy medicines that are advertised on TV or medicines you've heard your friends talk about, ask your pharmacist about them. He is the person in the drugstore who has studied about drugs and he can tell you other medicines that may work better and are cheaper than the one you heard about. Your pharmacist knows the products he sells, and he will help you to get the most for your money. If you get sick and continue to be sick, see your county health department or your family doctor. They are trained to help you get the proper medical care and will recommend the right medicine if you need it. Don't ever take a medicine or tonic just because it helps someone you know or heard about. This could be dangerous. You should take prescription medicines only if your doctor prescribes them for you. A drug may be safe for your friend to take, but it may be harmful for you. We are all different. You may think you have the same condition or disease as your friend, but it might be serious if you take his medicine. Don't take chances with your health by taking medicine prescribed for someone else. Another thing. Be careful about taking medicine which you bought several months or years ago. Taking old medicines can be harmful or dangerous. Buy at your drugstore rather than from some traveling salesman who doesn't stay long enough in one place for the law to catch him. It can be worse than taking no medicine at all. There, now don't you wish you had listened to your pharmacist? Now you're sure your doctor and pharmacist recommended that? Okay, go ahead and take it. There, that's better, isn't it? Often, pills and tablets are coated with sugar and are made up in pretty colors. This makes them look like candy to small children. Eating these pills can cause a child to become very sick or even to die. If a person takes too much medicine, like a child eating a lot of aspirin or tablets, or if someone eats or drinks any of the products that contain poison, he should be taken to the doctor or hospital at once. Don't wait till he feels sick. It may be too late then to save his life. Such tragedies can be prevented. When your doctor does prescribe medicines, Keep them in a locked drawer or cabinet together with the directions for taking them. Always throw away any leftover medicine. Poisons such as home cleaners, insecticides, paints, and lye should be placed in closed containers and locked so small children can't drink them. Good health, a good life, is your responsibility. Spend your money wisely. Grow healthy and happy by eating the proper foods. Take medicine only when you are sure that you need it and that it won't hurt you. If you have any questions about gardening, preserving, or cooking foods, call your County Agricultural Extension Service. <laughs>